Welcome to linuxhelp.com. For today's topic, I will show you how to configure ELB Elastic Load Balancer and add web servers in that uh, in the AWS Amazon Web Service. So, load balancing refers to efficiently distributing incoming network traffic across a group of backend servers, also known as a server farm or server pool. In this manner, a load balancer performs the following functions like uh, distributes client request or network load efficiently across uh, multiple servers. Uh, load balancer, it distributes a set of tasks over a set of resources with the aim of making their overall performance or processing of requests more efficient. So now let's see uh, how to configure load balancing in AWS. So now I am AWS. Uh, here you will see that uh, I have created an instance before. It's on running condition. So first of all, I am going to check a uh, backend of my instance, uh, like connected. Um, now I am talking to root access. Here I have created uh, two files. Uh, uh, now I am going to put uh, Apache path if you remember the apache path is 3d slash web slash www slash html and here we'll see i have created two files help check.html and index.html if you open this file index.html it will see this is my machine one web server and uh, if i open my health check file you'll see uh, web server health is fine so this, these two files I have created here. Now I, I already configured uh, Apache service here to check Apache service, system CTL status uh, Apache 2. Yeah, it's active and running. So now move back to your instance. This is my instance ID. This is the public IP. By going to copy here, I will check here. Yeah, from here I can access my machine one web server. So from this I can say yes, uh, I can access the, this my instance uh, publicly from outside. Now for the load balancing, uh, we have to go over here in load balancing section, load balancer, priorly configured load balancer. So now create new load balancer. There are three types of load balancer here. You see the application load balancer, network load balancer, and this is the, the first type of load balancer, classic load balancer. So now this time I'm going to create this classic load balancer here. And uh, in the next coming videos, we will see all these configuration for application and network. So for this uh, classic load balancer, uh, I'm going to give here name like uh, balancer one and this is my default uh, vpc from where i get the internet or uh, for the listener configuration load balancer protocol http and uh, instance protocol is http uh, this is not uh, mandatory that you have to define both protocols are the same you can define instance protocol when you create an instance uh, at the time you can define different protocol for this instance so now i am going to work uh, from this configuration this is the security groups uh, the basic thing about the security group you have to mention that uh, the security group you are assigning to here you have to select that security group in which uh, that protocol is allowed which are going to health check file in your web server so i'm selecting this uh, security group because uh, i already configured with https here okay uh, this is a little warning your load balancer is not using any secure license uh, listener because this is the https uh, ssl error uh, this is a uh, your https uh, ssl certificate is not configured uh, so for that i have to paid uh, service so because it's a demo so i am leaving here so go to the next setting 
here's a ping protocol http which i define here uh, at which protocol you are checking your health you have to define here and on which port you are going to use and the ping path this would be your health check file i have shown you before that my health file is uh, health check dot html and uh, health check dot html okay in the next advanced details response timeout this is the timeout till time it will uh, wait for response from the health file after that it will show timeout uh, interval at this time of interval it will check again your health file at the 30 second it will check again and again uh, and healthy threshold is uh, set as 2 it means it will check two times if it got failure two times after that it will tell it's out of service and uh, healthy threshold is that uh, from here it will check from this number of time and after that it will so healthy so i'm giving this value to three means uh, it will check three times and after that it will so it's a healthy uh, web server around uh, i'm giving interval for 30 second and then it will after 90 second it will show that yeah your health file is okay so now i'm going to next add ec2 instance the already ec2 instance is running i have created before so i'm checking it the section of enable cross zone load balancing it means uh, it will distribute the traffic between the different uh, availability zones so now go to the next add uh, tags from now i don't need to give that and now create your load balancer so it has been created okay so from now i am going to check all the descriptions what i have given before here is edit time edit file attributes okay and everything is fine here so i'm going to instance uh, it will show out of service now it will take some time to make in service okay but in some cases uh, it also so out of service because of if uh, it's not able to find your uh, health file or index file then in that case it's also so out of service so you have to be aware of that and there's a second thing i want to mention here is that uh, uh, load balancer always provide dns name it doesn't provide any ip so you have to be aware of that so this dns should be accessed from outside i am going to copy here and if i going to put here like this yeah it, you can see it is accessible now you can see service in service so now it can be accessed this is my machine one web server if i move to my health file like that uh, glth health check dot html yeah it can access web server health for health is fine so what is the load balancer it is access only this single url and by i am check uh, i am changing only this the after part of that from that i am accessing both the fields using the load balancers so this is the method to configure load balancer using ec2 instance if you like it please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com